German Cup Final on ESPN2 Saturday. Coverage starts 1.55 Eastern time between Bayern Munich and Bayer Leverkusen. Jan Agafjortov back with us. Jan, I got to assume Bayern Munich massive favorites here. Does Leverkusen have a chance? Well, normally not, but I, they have beaten them once this season away from home. But I remember back a couple of seasons ago when my Eintracht Frankfurt play Bayern Munich in the cup. They were even bigger favorites, Bayern Munich, and they managed to beat them, knocked them out. And Nico Kovac being then the coach from Eintracht Frankfurt after that going to Bayern Munich. But now Leverkusen got a problem as well. I mean, they're called Neverkusen because they're never able to win anything. So for them, it's a big, big thing to be in the cup final. But having said that, I think that Leverkusen got everything to, to battle for. This is everybody will think that Bayern Munich will be the big favorites. The players will know that. So everything will be a bonus for them. So they should just enjoy this going to the German Cup final. They won't be crowded as a normally 70,000 thing in, in Berlin, but still a big thing, the German Football Cup going off tomorrow. Bayern Munich has all the stars. Bayer Leverkusen has Kai Havertz. you think this is the last game we're seeing Havertz in a Leverkusen uniform? I think so, because there, there's always been an agreement that he should play this season. There was a lot of clubs after him last summer as well. Having said that, the, the, the market has changed. I mean, the, the expected money won't, won't be there, but there's a good chance that he will go. I think there's a mental thing as well, that he's prepared himself to leave, and he had a good season, at least the second part of the season. He's been scoring goals for fun and, and doing assists. So that kind of player... That is not a lot of them around. So get him in your team will do you make you more unpredictable. So I think there is a lot of clubs after him. I would say that Bayern Munich will also be the favourites to get him him as well, uh, Kai Havertz, because they're trying now to get all the young German players like Leroy Sané, Nubel, and maybe then Kai Havertz. So um, this may be, be the last time we'll see him, him for, for a while in the Leverkusen shirt. You mentioned that Bayern Munich are after him. Chelsea reportedly also after him. All the other clubs, primetime clubs that are after him as well. Where do you think he would end up? I think Chelsea's an outsider chance because you've seen they're, they're with Timo Werner, they, they have found their market uh, and they know what I got in, in German. Pete Czech uh, has been a lot in Germany lately and, and Timo Werner was a great deal and they have to do something to be a title challenger for, for next season, I can see that happening. I can see that he will go to, to London. Liverpool been told we don't have the money at the moment. Manchester United are not in the market for Kai Havertz, I think. But Bayern Munich is, is the thing that they seem to be the sec always the favourite for, for German players. has been that for, for ages, so we, they will be in for him. But So I think that is a, a mindset of the player. How far will I go away from the German Bundesliga? Do I think that I have done enough at the moment to prove myself and I need a, and I need a challenge. And don't underestimate that thing that Timo Werner has already gone to, to Chelsea. We know that Rudiger played a big part of, uh, of getting him there, him there. And I can see that Peter Cech will, will try to get Werner to give a call to Kai Havertz and try to tempt him to come to London. London, London a great city. It won't be hard to, to live there and play football there. Jan, let's change gears if we can. Bundesliga promotion playoff. Heidenheim, Werder Bremen played to a 0-0 draw on the first leg on Thursday. Second leg coming up on Monday. What do you think is going to happen? Well, this was a massive game. Werder Bremen at home winning 6-1 in the last game of the season, scoring goals for fun. But it was very hard for them to knock down uh, 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 Heidenheim. Heidenheim has been... They, they didn't concede goals. I think that was the 17th clean sheet they've had all season and uh, they were struggling Werder Bremen. Then they got a red card of the cap captain Moisander. He won't play on, on Monday. So this is going to be a tough one. And we see with Stuttgart and, 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 and I mean Hamburger Sportsverein, a big club has been struggling to get out of the second league. What a game this is for Werder Bremen, winning titles for fun uh, for, for ages. And now they find themselves in this position. I would say that now it's maybe 60-40 for Heidenheim. Well, they won't have the home advantage in terms of, of uh, intense home chrome. But the German Bundesliga always come up with those kinds of teams coming into their league. And I think that is great for the Bundesliga, but it will be very bad for a tradition club like Werder Bremen.
Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.